Hi! In this video, we're going to look at measuring total harmonic distortion in circuits. We will calculate it manually and then with the use of LT spice. But first, what is total harmonic distortion or THD? When we take a single sine wave, we have the purest signal that can exist. It is a single frequency in the frequency spectrum. The moment we start altering the shape of a sine wave, we add distortion. The alteration of the shape of the sine wave happens when the sine wave goes through a circuit with so called nonlinear properties. Sometimes this is very obvious, with for example diode clipping of the sine wave, but it is also very often not so noticeable. For example, you expect a transistor buffer to just do the job of passing a signal from the input to the output. But also the transistor has small nonlinearities that makes it so the output signal is always a little bit distorted, even when you don't hear it. Companies that develop high-fi amplifiers or very precise lab equipment always aim to keep the distortion as low as possible. When the signal gets distorted, in this case a pure sine wave, other frequencies start to pop up in the frequency spectrum. These are called harmonics and are always a multiple of the frequency of the original signal, also called the fundamental frequency. Of course, all these frequency components have a certain magnitude and RMS voltage. And to get a figure for the THD, all you have to do is to calculate the ratio of all the harmonics of interest and the fundamental. So all the harmonics get summed by the square of the RMS voltages, and then the square root is taken of that sum. And this gets divided by the RMS voltage of the fundamental. Now let's try this out in LT spice. So here I have two voltage sources, a pure sine wave and a triangle. If you look at the FFT of the sine wave, it is visible that it has no higher order harmonics. If you would manually calculate the total harmonic distortion, you will find out that it is 0%, which is completely true. This signal has not been distorted. But now let's take a look at the triangle wave. A triangle is nothing more than a fundamental sine wave with quite heavy odd harmonic distortion. This is just another way of saying that there is a third, fifth, seventh and so on harmonics, but no second or fourth and so on. Let's take a look at the frequency spectrum of a triangle by taking the FFT. For now we will ignore all spikes lower than 1 kHz and all the small spikes near the noise floor. As visible, are the odd harmonics going down all the way into the higher frequencies. For this example, we will only focus on the first 10 harmonics. Let's change the magnitude from decibel to linear. This shows the RMS voltage for each harmonic. Now let's go through the first 10 harmonics and note down what the RMS voltage is. The fundamental or first harmonic of 1 kHz sits at 573 mV RMS. The second harmonic of 2 kHz is basically non-existent, so 0 V RMS. The third harmonic of 3 kHz is at 63.7 mV RMS. We continue noting down these voltages until we reach the 10th harmonic at 10 kHz. Now we solve the formula and we end up with a total harmonic distortion of about 12%. This is great news, because the THD of a triangle is defined as being 12.1%. Now writing down all these values and then doing the calculations can take a lot of time. Luckily, LD Spice can do all of this for us. We just need the Fourier Spice Directive. The first value is the frequency of the fundamental we're going to analyze, in this case 1 kHz. The second value is the amount of harmonics we're interested in, in this case 10. The third value is the amount of periods to include. I set it to negative 1, which tells LT Spice to use all the data available. And the last values are where the signals are we want to analyze. To find out what the answer is from the Fourier function, go to View, Spice Error Log, or more easily, press Ctrl L. A new window pops up with all kinds of data. LT Spice first did an analysis on the sine wave. As you can see, the first harmonic or the fundamental at 1 kHz has a peak voltage of 1. 
but after that, there's nothing there in the harmonics. So at the bottom, you can see that the total harmonic distortion is 0%. Now under this analysis is the analysis of the triangle. As you can see, there is a component measured for the fundamental, but then basically nothing at the second harmonic. And then at the third harmonic, however, it measures a peak again. This goes on until the tenth harmonic, and as we can see, we have a total harmonic distortion of about 12%, just like our calculation. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe if this video was useful, and see you in the next one. Bye!